Everybody ready? In the Georgia swamp, frontiersman Colbert and his grandchildren are attempting to stand a 400-pound utility pole in the ground for the cabin's foundation. I've bottomed out. Oh, I see the problem. Since he can't travel anymore, we had to figure out something else to do. You give yourself some slack and move the slippery rope farther to the end of the pole. If we don't slip the anchor point up higher on the pole, it'll make a great deal of effort and stress, but at the last point, we might have to push it up with our hands. I want you guys to start pulling and help me lift it. You guys ready? Yeah. One, two, three. The pole's in. We did the impossible with simple tools, and we did it as a family. That's pretty awesome. Pretty awesome, bud. Pretty awesome. <laughs> I mean, that looking like a lot, just a big utility pole. But to me, it's the beginning start of my home. The most important step of any long journey is the first step. And I've got the first step done. There you go. That's straight up and down. With the hard work behind them, it's time for a meal. But miles from civilization, they'll have to improvise to put food on the table. Instead of taking the grandkids out for a drive through window meal that they'll forget right away, we're going to catch an organic fresh fish. Who wants a tall fishing pole? They'll remember that, and their tummies will remember. Are you guys hungry? Yeah. yeah. You feel something, Chelsea? I think so, yeah, I feel it's ugly. Give a short yank. Aw. Beautiful. That's a nice small catfish. These here are sharp as needles, and they have barbs on them. If they do stab you, it'll really burn a little bit, but just put your mouth on it and suck really hard and suck the poison out mm -hmm. and spit, and then you should be all right. Woo! <laughs> it sure is great having grandkids and having a place where they can play, kind of like their own private park. I think I'm gonna swim and fish. Got another one, Grandpa. Well, I'm really proud of you guys. This is awesome. <laughs>